Greetings, my name is Ian. Today we're going to be checking out the new and improved brand new Insta360 X3. Um, this guy's been out for about two weeks now. Um, I just landed yesterday. Um, but I've had some time to play around with it and uh, I thought I'd do a kind of like first thoughts, initial review, see if it can keep up with the tried and true the almighty GoPro. Um, so let's get into it. So firstly, I wanted to run through the app, um, or rather the apps. Um, they won for both your phone and your computer. They both work very well at framing up your 360 shots um, via keyframes. Um, so basically what you do is you pick, hey, I want the camera to be looking here at this point in the timeline, this point here in the timeline, and you just piece up your shot and control the camera angle throughout the whole thing. The phone version is great for getting a video on your phone quickly, um, but the more in-depth editing on there is a bit archaic. Um, I couldn't quite figure it out myself. The desktop is a bit more intuitive, um, but I'll definitely still be using other software to edit once I flatten my 360 videos. Alright, so running through some sample clips here. Uh, this is just the first video I ever took outside with it. Um, did a little bar spin up here, which looks kind of cool. Um, there you go. This next one, this is going to be a single lens mode. Um, so the camera has single lens and double lens. Um, single lens is, I would say, not the way you want to go. It ends up looking down, like that clip did. Which is the thing that I am not a big fan of on the GoPro. That's always the worst when you look at a clip and it's way too far down. Um, but I had to throw one single clip in there just so you see. And then all these other ones are going to be 360. So a lot wider field of view and ultimate control over the camera angle. Downhill. Um, I've also noticed that the 360 camera is also a bit better at like emphasizing verticality, whether it be downhill or uphill, um, where the GoPro seems to struggle a bit more, I would say. The whole like wider 360 view just kind of shows that off better. Um, and then this will be on my way to work this morning. Took a quick lap at the Goat Trail, which is one of the better trails at Battle Creek. Um, so here we go with that. Um, on the mountain bike, it looks quite good. Um, it's a pretty smooth ride with the suspension and all that, so that helps and it looks quite good, I would say. So coming up here, you're going to see what I would say is the main downfall compared to a GoPro. Um, it's going to be on more of the rocky, ruddy, gnarly stuff like this right here. Um, it does pretty good, but in the middle there, it definitely like gets pretty choppy, but we'll take it. Um, I think that's the one thing where the GoPro would pull ahead compared to the 360. So this being my first 360 camera here, um, don't have anything to really gauge it against, but from what I can tell it's been uh, quite the machine. It's done everything I could ask it for and cannot complain. So who's it for? Uh, I think this is a great product for anybody that's uh, on the verge of a 360 camera, kind of like thinking about it, do I get it, do I not? I think uh, definitely just go ahead and do it if you're on the verge. Super easy to get into, um, the app's a huge help. That was one thing I was really worried about, is the whole post-processing of the 360 file. I don't know how any of that works, um, but their editing software goes right through it, super easy, walk you right through it, and nothing to worry about whatsoever. For a lot of situations, I think this could indeed replace the GoPro. Um, for anything casual, like riding around the city, normal-ish activities that aren't too intense, um, all day, the stabilization stabilization is great. The one thing is the mounts that I got in the bike bundle are not the greatest. They definitely work, um, but I've had issues with the camera like moving around since this thing is so top heavy. Um, so like you saw in the mountain bike clip on the more chunky, kind of rocky, ruddy section, um, this thing was mounted on my chest, on the chest mount, and it was just flopping all over the place. 
And I mean, to be fair, it did a very, very good job of counterbalancing that. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's still apparent um, that's just one area the GoPro will strive in. It's better weighted. It'll just stay put. And it'll handle a little bit gnarlier stuff a bit better, but for most scenarios, this thing's pretty sweet. Um, pretty darn excited to see what we can get up to with this guy. Um, like I said, I've only had it for a day to play around with, and it's already been a blast. Um, but a lot more coming soon with this guy. Um, we've got an Alley Cat race on Friday, and we'll be filming with this. So we'll see how that goes. Should be... A good test. Not sure if we're going to mount it on the helmet, chest, whatever, but we got options. Should look great either way. So stay tuned for that. Um, otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.